Glenn? Yes. Whatever you do, don't get too close to me because I went Ooh. to Wendy's today. I had a day special with lots of onions. So Ooh, okay. I was in a rush. I need to get back here because I've got some other stuff to do. As long as it's not no flu or something. No, no. <laughs> no, no flu. <laughs> I want to thank uh, so many of you folks out there that gave us all these wonderful comments. Glenn and I were reviewing them the other day and we're overwhelmed with your kindness. So thank you very much. We appreciate your thoughts and uh, we're glad to be back. Yeah. Uh, you know, I want to make it clear that in the last video, it was not our intention to give you a, an, a big picture of gearing. It was our intention to give you kind of a cursory of, of how the gears function. Right. You, and so I yeah. think that's, I hope we got kind of got that message across. This right. was not intended to be technical because there's a lot more to gearing than, oh. than what we talked about. Uh, more than I know. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I used to be in that business, by the way, but that's a whole other story. <clears throat> well, we're going to go back out in the shop. We're going to check this. Uh, we've got it back together now, and we think that we've got it, but I'm a little concerned. Uh, you may recall, Glenn, that there's a rack gear in there, and this pinion gear rides on that rack gear. Right. And then the table itself rides on ways. Yep. It's very important that the rack gear is above the ways. The ways have to be, the, right. the table has to ride on the ways. Okay. If it doesn't, if it's riding on the gear, that's not oh, good. not at all. Not, it, it's stiff and it'll, it'll Well, that table of, weighs like yeah. 400 pounds. And it'll do a lot of clunking. Oh, so, sure. So there's, a, there's not much margin of error if we want to get the backlash out of this gear that rides on the rack gear. Uh, and we're going to have to go back there and double check that because okay. I, I'm not convinced that it's good. Uh, and I also want to point out that this particular machine is not like normal machines in that it had a cam in there that you could move back and forth to get the play out of that gear. That's not normally the case. Okay. So it's not my intention to teach you folks out there that this is a common fix because it's not. This is a fix that happens to be available on that machine. On that machine, yeah. So it's German, isn't it? Or uh, Italian? Uh, Italian. Italian. It's yeah, a pasta so. machine. <laughs> so let's go back out there and let's double check it and see what the situation is okay. and if we fixed it or not. All right. Sounds let's, good to me. Let's take a hike. Wait for me. <laughs> well, yeah. The machine looks great. It's all cleaned up. The question is is it as good inside as it is? Outside. outside, I don't yeah. know. Well, we certainly have gotten rid of the backlash. There's not much in there now. I don't know that we can get it any better than it is, but frankly, I'm a little concerned, like we talked about earlier, that I think that this table is riding on the rack gear and not on the ways. So it does I think seem kind of hard. Yeah, it's, it's not. Bit, yeah. It's not moving right. No. So that means. Disassemble this, take the tail stock off, the head stock off, lift the table up, and take a look at the rack here again. So that's what we need to do. Sorry about that, guys, but it's not right, and we're not going to put it in service until it's right. Agree? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right. That's it for now. We'll get Dave over here and take it apart.